Welcome back, America. We're here with a buddy of mine. I love Leo Terrell. Leo Terrell, we haven't heard from you since this assassination attempt on, uh, on Donald Trump. You know, Leo, you and I used to debate from time to time. You were pretty hardcore lefty. And something changed. Something changed. Um, you got to know Donald Trump. You got to watch Donald Trump. You saw his policies. Is that what affected you? You become friends with Donald Trump. And nobody's asked you, so I'm going to ask you. What was it like last week when you saw what took place? Uh, I'll tell you, Mark, it was one of the scariest things in the world for two reasons. One, Americans and myself included, we almost lost our democracy and our right to pick Donald Trump as our president. We were that close. And as a, from a personal standpoint, they tried to assassinate my friend, a person who I've gotten to know, a person who is the reason why I am a Republican, a person who is the reason why I voted in 2020 for the first time in my life as a Republican. And I'm going to do that again in 2024. Mark, that party that I used to belong to, that party where you and I used to debate, it does not exist. That is a socialist organization. That is a communist organization. When the Democrats, if you want to still call them that, abandoned the everyday American, when the Democrats abandoned law and order, when they abandoned quality schools, when they abandoned a secure border, it was easy for me to leave. President Trump, ever since he walked down that escalator, has made America first. And he has said over and over again that if they will go after him, he is the only person that is stopping the other side, whatever you want to call them, from going after every American. For the last 10 years, Mark, what he has gone through has been horrendous. Let's not call CNN, MSNBC, the media. They are agents of the Democrat Party. And they are hell-bent on trying to destroy everything about this country, the Constitution, my rights, your rights. President Trump represents what America is all about, the everyday American citizen. I am so proud to be on his team. And what I found out and realize that that shooting attempt to murder our next president, thank God it did not happen. And as a result of that, we are blessed to have this man to become our 47th president in November 2024. You know, Leo, you're an extremely well-read man. You were a history teacher. History. Adolf Hitler. I was going to begin this program, Leo, with scenes from the Third Reich and the Holocaust, with the ovens, with the stacks of dead bodies, with Eisenhower and Omar Bradley and George Patton walking in one of the death camps where they couldn't even believe what they were seeing. These are men who saw a lot, and they couldn't believe what they were seeing. And Eisenhower said, I want the press here. I want the video running. I don't want anybody to ever forget it. And then when it's casually referenced on CNN and MSNBC and other media outlets that Trump is Hitler, that Trump is going to execute us, that I will have to leave the country, that Trump is going to round us up, and so forth and so on, is this the most disgusting kind of demagoguery and propaganda that you've ever heard? And it comes from... 95% of the American media? I want to thank you for that question, because besides being a school teacher and a lawyer, I've been a civil rights lawyer for over 30 plus years. And this hateful rhetoric, I don't care what anyone tells you, is a motivating factor as to what almost happened last week. I want to be very clear. I've been on your show before. I have said this before. I'll say it again. Uh, systemic racism? does not exist in this great country. Yes, we have pockets of racism. What they have tried to portray Donald Trump as a racist, as a, as, as a person who hates Jews, is an outright lie. This man has his heart open to all people. He does not look at color. 
He does not look at religion. He looks at individuals as who they are. And I find it offensive that the Democrats and the left would resort to such a hateful, ugly portrayal. But it's not true, because over 80-plus million Americans love Donald Trump. And here's one guy on your show who loves Donald Trump, because this type of lie has to be destroyed. we got to get rid of them, Mark, not only this left-wing side, but we have to take our country back, and that starts with President Trump being elected in November. Amen. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.